there, um, all right, I'm going to say this. I know Eamon's not going to be happy about this. Uh, first of all, when Impact comes back to Wednesdays, we are going to talk about it in the midweek. No, oh, no. Just you saying, didn't even talk about SmackDown this week. Until until Slammiversary. I'm giving them until Slammiversary. If they Mike, haven't, is, if they haven't, happy place. <laughs> Mike, you are you listen to me. We're yeah. having an intervention because you are in an abusive relationship with professional wrestling. <laughs> He's a battered fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the one who gets all butthurt because WWE decides to make more money. Hey, hey. Ah. Getting, getting, amen. Consciously against us, no. Getting, uh, yes. They're, they're solely going. Look at him. He's so flustered. His hair is getting so fussed up from, throughout oh, the night. He's I like, oh, he's pulling out this, this, this <laughs> elimination chamber. And I go, you people see ACH versus Andy Dalton. <laughs> Next week, Amon's gonna be rocking in the corner talking to a rat named George. Anyway, just, uh. uh, uh you're just a rat in a cage. Speaking of impact, oh, oh, uh, so um, I there's there's and there's this the more house. there's more sm- smashing pumpkins quotes coming yes. up over the coming weeks, isn't there? Oh, I uh, really hope so. Oh, no. That, that um, would require people to know other smashing pumpkin songs besides that one about. Listen, Amen. Tonight, tonight we're talking about impact. Okay. Yes. So anyway, uh, those are the only two pumpkins references. Again, I, I apologize, LB. Um. I don't mind what the dollhouse is doing. Um, okay. The material they are being provided with is horrible, but they are making the best with it as they can. Taryn Terrell is actually being a really effective heel. Um, she's doing the crazy route, which works for a lot of people, and I think she's doing it pretty well. And plus, her, her and Gail Kim have really good chemistry in the ring, so the fact that they have an actual story behind it this time, as opposed to to a respect, respect, respect thing. I'm I'm a f- I'm in favor of it. I don't mind it. And uh, Marty Marty and um, Jade are really great. They they had a tag team match against Broken Rebel and actually made Broken Rebel look mildly competent. Uh, it was fun to watch them work together. And the gimmick probably sets women's wrestling back ten years. But they're trying the best they can with it, and they're. At least being somewhere entertaining with it. Um, it, it. It's nothing. It's nothing against the performers because I agree. I think that as performers, they're doing the best with what they have. But what they have is so regressive, yes. and, and and so uncreative. I'm sorry. I don't know if I I, I looked away and I missed. So what what are they doing as far as um, the story now is that it's not just about Taryn having the knockouts title and wanting to be the best and and trying to prove herself to everybody, which is what the story was originally about. Now she wants to steal Gail Kim's husband. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, the whole gimmick of the you know, you know, like women do. What's, what's the deal? She wants to like start a cooking show. Is that like her? <laughs> what's, like, what's going she on? Could just be looking for cooking. Tips. Food Network I'm Destination not, America talking. crossover going to happen? Like, what's going to happen? <laughs> so um, but yeah, the, the Dollhouse gimmick is kind of like someone in the back just saw a Sucker Punch and said, "Hey, that's a great idea for a stable." Um, but. They also had a, a pretty fun little uh, hardcore war, they were calling it. It's kind of like Lethal Lockdown without a cage. Um, it was a fun match. They brought Lashley back, which I was surprised at because I thought he was just flat out done with the company. Um, but I still hope and pray that this is all building to EC3 getting a title shot because I think... I think EC3 as a as the world champion, especially if he's still undefeated going into that, is something I could really, you know, buy into. Wait, wait, wait! wait. EC3 is still undefeated. EC3 yep. is still undefeated in singles competition. Wow. Yep. And in tag, well, and, and in tag matches, he's never taken the pinfall or submission. This is true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, it seems really- like they should be making a bigger deal out of that. Oh. EC3 comes out and makes a big deal out of it every week, but because he's a giant dick about it, you know, they kind of downplay it and they say that he's underhanded. He has Tyrus to help him in the corner, but you know what? He's still undefeated. Uh, but he has a mini feud going off Ken Anderson right now, which whoop de doo he gets to be Ken Anderson a whole bunch. I guess it's better than wrestling, oh, I don't know, Chris Melendez. But um, yeah, I, I really hope that. It seems like they're grooming EC3 for a top spot, and based on what I've heard from Billy Corgan, 
he knows that you can have a guy like EC3 at the top to be the face of your company because let's 